Welcome to Inbank Unfiltered, where I talk about almost anything. This video will be random NFL stuff. Now, if I ain't talking football and NFL, d d just just understand there's a difference between football and the NFL. NFL sports entertainment league. Football is football. So if it's some if it's not a football thing, it's something that's attached to the NFL in somewhat some way. <laughs> oh, and then yeah, it'd be two reasons why. Y'all got to separate, uh, you know, talent from the person. But uh, here we go with the first, just, uh, yeah, just a crazy, just weird. Uh, tell me what you think when you meet me in the street. So Tom Brady kissing his 11-year-old son, weirdly, because, you know, you got your experts of the whole, you know, you can't love him too much. Can't well, Dude, the son is 11, no. And then just the way this goes, though. Like, nigga, you get the massage, then you do the double kiss, nigga. That ain't shit weird as fuck. In a documentary called Tom vs. Time, there's a scene showing five-time Super Bowl winner Tom Brady getting a massage. Then his 11-year-old son comes in the room and asks him if he can check his fantasy football standings. Oh, do you want to know if I can check my fantasy team? Oh, and then I guess shout out to uh, CBS, the Masonic all I. And I remember that line in one of... Mason, uh, the Mason himself, uh, Jay Z, keep one eye open like CB. Yeah, so I'm like, damn, y'all Masons keep on connecting everything. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like a pet. That was like a pet. father and son prompted tweets from viewers using words like very disturbing and uncomfortably long. Nambla. The New Yorkers, what they thought. I'm a little uncomfortable with that. Like, okay, you can kiss him on the cheek, you can give him a hug, you know, but not in the mouth and not for that long. Too long. Too long. Like romantic. Too long. It's leaning the naked, getting a massage, too. <laughs> that makes it weird? Yeah. I kiss my son on my lips. I have since day one. You know, I would have no problem with my son kissing me like that. The nigga, the one with birds shit on his head is the only one that's in the green. <laughs> the one that looked like he met them around, the only one. Island parenting expert Liz Stern says she doesn't see anything. Wrong. If you kiss your kids too much, it's the wrong thing. If you kiss your kids too little, it's the wrong thing. If you hug too much, it's the wrong thing. Or you know, I think people need to back off and just stop parent shaming other people. Yeah, because she's a you know parenting expert. So yeah, back off and quit parent shaming. But it's like. Eh, well, people gonna do what they want and uh, it's like everybody wants somebody to back off or something but people ain't so i guess i'm just one of them that ain't when when well, we spoke to no one questioned tom brady's intentions toward his child but they did seem to question the message he's sending with his actions i don't think affection should ever be tied in with a favor carolyn meyer wartels is a licensed clinical <laughs> worker and parenting expert she says when it comes to physical touch the message we send our children should be clear you don't don't do anything with your body because someone else is insisting that you do it in order for you to get what you want. Even if the person insisting is mom or dad. In Manhattan, Elise Finch. I don't know, man. It's just great. Like, to me, it's just too long of a kiss. And it's on the lips. And you get the massage. And he's 11. Like, I, I think I'm going to cut the cord at, like, I don't know, probably 7 or 8. I don't know. But like eleven, definitely we we he gonna have a dip. His mind state is gonna be way. I don't know what Tom Brady's son mind state was, but my son, I think he'll probably have that mind state of like, yeah, it's kind of like can I kiss you on the cheek? Or can we just you know shake hands or something? Or you know, bro hug? Or I but I don't know. I want to hear the sheeples though. Like, man, it's okay, man. She, I she my seventy five years old. I still kiss her. Like ah, right, damn. Because <laughs> you know somebody gonna have something for something every time or. Something for anything to where I can bring up like the worst crime and somebody on this planet. Man, well, if you were <laughs> Bill. Now, with these sports entertainment leagues being rigged, fixed, scripted, there do be some real stuff that involve these, like uh, the talent. But when people get, you know, jack legged out of a uh, Megan Hall of Fame, man, I'll be like, man, like they can't go back and put more numbers up. Like, and then when you look at other people in the Hall of Fames that have lesser numbers, and then it's like, they want to wait, like, see, oh, I got in on my third try. Like, why? Like, what the, every, every Hall of Famer should be a first round ballot. Like, well, what is, what is, who's, who's voting? Like, who's, no, nah, not this year, no, nah, not this year, no. Nah, okay, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer now. Like, what the, he could have, he was eligible for, you know, but anyways, this is, uh, Drew, Drew Pearson, uh, not making it after 30 years, because I think he in now, I'm not too sure, but, uh, but, if he is cool, but, 
I feel like, man, y'all only put them in because of this emotional, this emotional stuff right here. I'm just disappointed. I just can't believe it. this again. Just the last one. Just the last time. They're not going to screw me again. I just want to thank everybody for coming anyway and being here. We thought we were going to have a good moment. We deserve that moment. We can't do nothing about it. Can't catch no more damn passes. Can't run no more routes. It's there. What upsets me more is when they say you don't deserve it, they talk negative about you. There's nothing negative about my career in the NFL. Nothing. How could you say negative things about it? That's what upsets me more. You put your hands in a fate. You're faking the hands of people. And you trust them to do it right. And I'm not saying those guys that got it. God bless them. They deserve it, each and every one of them. But man, it hurts. They broke my heart. They broke my heart. And they did it like this. They strung it out like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, don't be sorry at all. The NFL, sorry, nigga. That sorry ass sports entertainment label that bullshit. Now, the entertainment's cool, but I'm not emotionally or however I used to be attached to it as I used to be. Like, I still remember a lot of stuff. Like, we can go over, like, you know, whatever happened then and when, just, you know, what I know. But NFL been bullshit for a while. Like, like when we won the Super Bowl with my squad in 2017, I was already kind of like, oh, now, oh. Said, oh, we done went to the playoffs so many years with Andy Reid and all that shit. And then, oh, well, we, we won one, yay, with a different coach and a different quarterback and a whole different, eh, all that bullshit. But, hey, we did it. Yeah, man. <laughs> But this year right here, I'm like, well, if Doug Peterson is acting, then he is doing a hell of a job. And he's the best actor I've ever seen in shit. <laughs> well, I guess outside of, you know, the you know the, the top best actors. But, yeah, I think uh, they be bullshitting with this Hall of Fame shit. So, I don't know, man. NFL be tripping like a motherfucker. But let me, let me move on. That's just, but again, that's just BS, man. Yeah, it's like they <laughs> strung it out and, you know, hopefuls and do all this build up and then just bam. Drop the hang on him like, shh, nigga, I don't that bush yet, man. And then look, like, here we go. Another example of, uh, you know, got to separate the talent from the, uh, from what they do outside of the talent. Because, look, you got two 88s. One's a known cokey and one's a known mom beater. Build! <laughs> All right, just a couple random, another couple, two random picks. And I, I love uh, having three teams now. Or at least, you know, my main team and two other ones that I'm just cool with. But my second favorite team is the Patriots because they the main ones that I can point out certain stuff on how the league is rigged, fixed, scripted. So, and then that's the other thing. People, well, your team and that, well, nigga, the league is, they, uh, nigga, I, I got, I got irrefutable proof that the league is rigged, fixed, scripted. But anyway, it's like, is, is this a catch? Like, because this, this is on the ground. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this a catch? Go watch this game. Go watch the highlights. I think this is the 2019 AFC Championship. Uh, this is the one where... This is the year Mahomes won the in MVP, and then the Patriots beat him in the playoffs. So I'm like, nigga, uh, when the Patriots went to those playoffs and played trash Jared Goff and only put up three points, uh, the Rams only put up three points, Mahomes could have had a ring uh, and MVP in the same year, but, you know, they had to woo, woo, woo. But uh, if you think this is a catch, then... Uh, uh, I understand your thought process is thrown off, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a, just a, just a little, you know, random NFL stuff, man. Right? Is that a catch? <laughs>
In rig fix scripted referee's eyes, yes. In true competitive sport referee's eyes, no. What happened? Uh, the league proved to me once more and should open up sheeple's eyes that uh, this league is not, you know, it's not, it's not true competitive sport, but, you know, if you like it for entertainment purposes, then just say that, but don't be... You know, when I bring up how it's they, oh, <laughs> oh, so you emotionally attached to this league. And when I bring up the fact about it, you <laughs> get all butthurt. And you know I couldn't, you know, end it without this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dog, that's a fumble. Do you think this is a fumble? Do you not think this is a fumble? You know what I'm saying? Like, Even if the Patriots were my favorite team, I would be like, yeah, I'm glad we won. But I wish we would have won without no doubt. Without no, you know, spy gate, no, without no. Just same thing when... In 27, when my Eagles did win, like, I wish we would have won without no doubt and having Malcolm Butler, the difference maker in the previous Super Bowl, uh, playing this Super Bowl, but hey, let's just win this one without the uh, DB that made the game-changing interception on that bullshit ass, not give Marshawn Lynch the ball, uh, shit, but hey, but yeah, so here we go, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you see the ball stop, boom, and then he, what? <laughs> Like, to me, this is, like, my go-to when it comes to Rick Fix scripting. The same thing with 9-11 and uh, conspiracy stuff. Like, it's like, oh, there, there's, <laughs> it's too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's too easy and simple. But it's like, sheeple fans would say this is not a fumble or that Hogan catch wasn't a catch. But uh, it, it's like people that don't even know the sport, if I just break down what the fumble is and what this – what this is and the, uh, you know, the ball not moving out of his hand and the motion and all that bull job. It's like, they would be like, okay, then yeah, it's a fumble. So it's like people that ain't even in it. Like I'd be showing them this and breaking it down. They'd be like, okay, yeah, he fumbled. But then, and then there's true fans. It's like, yeah, that, that, it, well, that was a fumble. That was big. And then there's just the sheeple magnetic robot. No, I wasn't a fumble. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. Okay. It's like, I can't believe people be like this dumb. But then it's like they know how to, you know, look both ways when they cross the street. Some of them. Or know how to pay bills. Some of them. Or tie their shoes. Like, or, you know, some, it's like you can brush your teeth in the morning, but you can't see that this is a, or, or uh, if you ask somebody what's their name and they tell you their name or ask them what's one plus one or two plus two, like those three, they can do real quick. But then this, they, you got, they're like, no, come, come on, man. Man, you can still watch the NFL. Just, just know what it is. <laughs> Inter, uh, sports entertainment league but like, I'm gonna still watch but I don't even watch like I used to man. I just be watching highlights now like I'll wait the next uh, Monday morning and then just scroll through Tube and go in and, and just watch the highlights like, and I I hate the commercials so much now oh, I always hate the commercials so when I be watching the highlights in the commercial but I'll be mad I'll be way mad but uh, but yeah man that'll be it for random NFL stuff too I hope y'all learned something. If not, I don't give a damn. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If not, I don't give a damn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, y'all be cool. Keep your stress low. Don't be scared of nothing. Be prepared for everything. Peace.